Google.com is more than just a search engine. In fact, if you type roll a die, you can get access to dice. Perfect while playing a game when you can't find the right dice to go with it. Even better is a tool I learned about recently at a conference. If you type how to pronounce and then a word, it will bring up a pronunciation guide. You can click on the speech icon for it to pronounce the word. Colonel. Colonel. Or you can click on the mouth. Colonel. Colonel. You can also slow it down. Colonel. Colonel. And watch the mouth move. You can choose between American pronunciation and British pronunciation. Colonel. Colonel. Let's go back to the American version. And you also may see a practice button. If you don't see the practice button, it means you're not logged into Google. When you're not logged in, you'll see the pronunciation, but not the practice button. I'm going to go ahead and click the practice button, and I'm going to purposely say the word wrong. Colonel. And you'll see it gives me feedback. Colonel. It plays back the audio file of me mispronouncing the word. It gives me suggestions of how to improve. And then I can click practice and say it again. Colonel. This time it tells me I said it correctly. This could be a helpful tool for practicing speech or even learning a new language and practicing saying the words correctly. For example, I could also type how to say instead of how to pronounce, so I put in the word tortillas. Right now it's set to the American pronunciation. Tortillas. Tortillas. In the drop down, I can also have the British pronunciation. Tortillas. However, tortillas is not a British word. So instead, I'm going to go to google.com slash es for the Spanish language. In English, I typed how to say tortillas. Tortillas. And you'll notice I have the pronunciation, the American pronunciation, and the Spanish pronunciation. Tortillas. And it's slightly different each time. I hope you'll find this tool helpful. It works in other browsers as well, as long as you're logged into google.com.